Yo, what's up guys? Fresh here, coming at you with another editing tutorial. I've decided to make these into a series called Road to a Clean Editor. As you guys know, I am not a editor that does all sorts of hardcore effects. I'm just an editor that likes to do simple, clean episodes. So, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to become, you know, an editor that has good, clean-looking edits. So this is episode one. This is going to be focusing on color corrections. Not how to make them, just how to add them on and how to find good ones. So if I went through all the things about how to make color corrections, it would it would be a 20 minute tutorial. So let's get started. You're gonna want to have your clip imported. You're gonna want to have magic bullet looks. Um what else? You're going to want to have Twixter and Twitch and RSMB, a couple presets before you start trying to get to know After Effects. So once you have that stuff downloaded, the only thing that's needed for this tutorial is Magic Bullet Looks, but in the future, if you want to be an episode editor, you're going to need a few things. So I right, just took a drink. Let's get started. All right, say so you have this clip. Alright, I already made a composition. Alright, there's my settings. If you're that new, basically a composition means making a new project. It's only 59 seconds long. So, yeah. Say, uh, it's doing an OCE on this clip. I don't know. It looks really plain, doesn't look good. So, a lot of editors in SOAR and ERA release color correction packs, so those are always good to download. You need WinRAR to extract, so if you don't know what that is, just look it up on YouTube, another free, easy download. So yeah, once you have that, I'm going to show you how to add color corrections in your After Effects. So, say I just downloaded this, uh, um, hold on. So I just downloaded this color correction pack. This is actually Sore Reverse's color correction pack. So credits to him. So I just downloaded this. Um, I'm going to open this up, and I'm probably going to have no clue what this is if I was a new editor. This is basically After Effects presets. I'll show you After Effects preset. Basically, when you have these added, they're under your animation presets. My under presets. On my color correction pack, that's what I named the folder. Here's some of Era Spin's color corrections. I really like his CC pack. But yeah, for one, if you want to add color correction, layer, new, adjustment layer. This basically makes an adjustment layer that adjusts the whole video throughout. And so you can see how the video goes past the clip. So it would, it would go throughout the whole composition. So say if I added this. Alright, you can see how it's a pretty nice CC. Then if I added another clip, this adjustment layer still overlays on this clip and we'll have the color correction on this clip too. So hopefully you understand that. But like I said, color corrections are just I mean um after effects presets are things you can just drag on. So yeah, that's one type of preset. And to add those, they're called FX color corrections or FFX if you want to get really technical but you would go to start computer your C drive let me just drag this over go to program files Adobe After Effects CS6 support files and presets note your After Effects might be installed in a different place so this is just where mine is installed. I mean, it could be in program files x86. So, there's no way of telling you can do a search search for it, excuse me. But yeah, um I already made a folder called Sore Reverse CC Pack cuz I already had it. But say you just um, downloaded a CC Pack, you would make a new folder in your presets um folder. Type this, type in like new CC Pack or say if it was uh some auto editor. 
So yeah. And then what you would do, go into that folder and open up the folder with the CCs in them, copy and paste. Continue. So that's how you add these types of color correction presets. Next is magic bullet looks. So these things, or I personally don't like to use these. So yeah, it's just it's just my opinion on magic bullet looks. A lot of editors use magic bullet looks. I you have to use it to make presets in the first place. Well, you don't have to. It's good to use, but yeah, if I wanted to add one of these, go to computer, C drive. I believe it's x86. Uh, looks builder. Go under looks. Then you do the same thing. A new, make a new folder. Hit in CC pack, and then uh, you can go ahead and copy these. Just gonna put these right there for now, and put these in here. Okay. Notice how some of these are MB look and some of these are LS3. That means they're they were made in different magic bullet looks, so like maybe like uh different versions, I mean. So, I'm not exactly sure which ones are which cuz I don't use magic bullet looks a lot, but like I said, it's really easy to search and yeah, but after you've added these in, they should show up after you close your After Effects. I'm just going to save this so I don't have to import clips again. Alright. Oh. After Effects crashed. Perfect time. Oh, hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. After Effects had some problems, but yeah. CC already on this, but I'll go to new, add a new adjustment layer. So say I was looking for the CCs I just added, go into presets. All right here, auto. All right, see, like I said. And you see how some of these say top, middle? That means they're layered, so if I want to use this CC. I would make two adjustment layers. Put this one on the top adjustment layer. Put this on and put this one on the middle one. And you see what this says. I believe this one's the bottom. But yeah, those are layered color corrections. And if you wanted to um, say, uh, I don't know, you want to use a looks color correction, you type in looks, drag on a default looks on to your adjustment layer, click on edit, Put your mouse over this and it'll open up your custom color corrections or you have to go to them. Let's see, I made a folder called CC Pack and then a bunch of random letters. Go under here, and there you go. You can just click on it. And like I said, same thing. I just uh, chose a top, a uh, top CC. Now I just go under here. Oh, wait. I think this might be the wrong layer. Oh, no, it's not. How's was the top one. And then I could, uh... This is the bottom one, say. Go to that. And switch them around. And then this would be the top layer, bottom layer. That CC works. So, yeah, that's basically adding basic color corrections and using magic bullet looks if you guys want a tutorial on how to make color corrections efficiently request in the comments below 
but I just hit 10 minutes, so I'm out. Thanks, guys.